Hello, this is Python Pyro. Third test. Today, I'll show you how to write a Telegram bot that will bring back your ex. Just kidding. I'll be creating an Echo bot that can respond with actual voice messages. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thanks, bro. To expedite the process, we'll use code from the previous video as a base, so I won't dwell on exports. Don't count on it. I've already changed the token. Let's create a handler, specifying the following filters, commands, say, and messages with text. Using split, we'll separate the text from the command and save it in a variable. Let's check that everything works correctly. Great. Import the Google Text-to-Speech Library, GTTS. It's not a built-in library, so you need to install it beforehand. Pass the obtained text to the GTTS object. In the first case, we'll save the result as an MP3. Create a variable voice file using the fs input file type. You need to pass the file path for the bot to send. Send the result via answer voice. OK, it's good. Test message. In the second case, to avoid saving the speech to a file, get the bytes using the stream method of GTTS and pass them to buffered input file. In this case, also pass the file name parameter. Unfortunately, in these two cases, there won't be visualization of sound waves. Second test message. To visualize, you need to send the file in OGG format encoded using the Opus codec. You'll need to download FFmpeg to decode MP3 to OGG using Python's built-in tools. If you're using Windows, like me, make sure to add the FFmpeg folder to the path environment variable, or else the program won't work. A few moments later. Great. I'll write a separate function for converting MP3 to OGG using the built-in subprocess and I.O. modules. The function will take the file name and its path as arguments optional. Remember to open the file in binary mode to read bytes. I copied the fmpeg command somewhere on the internet. I'll leave it below the video. The function will run a subprocess and return the result in binary format. Back to the main function. I'll add the MP3 conversion and modify the code for buffered input file since our conversion function returns a binary string. I think it could be possible to modify the converter to directly pass a binary string to it instead of the MP3 format, so as to avoid saving the file. If you have any ideas, feel free to share them in the comments. Super, now the voice messages are visualized, making it seem like a real person is sending them, even though they sound like a robot. But the important thing is that it's free. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, there's more interesting stuff coming.